starting at 4 o'clock stream quality is looking good I think I'm audible it's time to get started because we do have to make the actual trek to the Shrine of Winter first I might redo the done easy for Dark Souls 2 with quality and holy shit that's loud my bad my TV volume's fucking insane. Um, professional, by the way. Professional streamer. But, um, yeah, so we'll be doing... Ugh, sorry, that's disgusting. I might come back to this, the Done Easy set, and do one for um, decks and quality as well. There's just some really good decks and really good quality weapons out there, too. So, yeah, there's plenty, there's plenty to do. Oof. Hit me right in the head. Um, I gotta look at the stats for this Y-Hander, because I feel like maybe his Y-Hander would have been better. Because Zweihander, Zweihander's two-handed, also swings horizontally. And my biggest problem with the Great Sword is that it, it can be really hard to aim the two-handed moveset. Not all the time, but some sometimes, for sure. I guess practice, but yeah. Definitely I'll probably come back and do dex, because katanas and the murakumo and a bunch of the other dex weapons. Mudakumo, if you want to be an absolute knob about it. Um, have really good stats. Katanas especially. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do Lud and Zalin. I'm not sure if I have time for it. This DLC is fucking huge. Like, hours and hours of content. And by hours and hours, I mean, like, probably we'll run up to the three hour... We'll probably run up to the three hour mark, because this, this DLC will probably take us two hours. But after the DLC, it's um, it's just a little bit more. We have one more boss, but we'll also have to visit Vendrick again. Oh, I forgot to rest. have a look looking at my stream real quick to see the quality all right it's looking good you got to make sure things are running smoothly I don't stream if everything's like suit I, I people know this who have come here before but I don't stream if the quality is super pixely then it'll look really shitty in the VOD as well and if it looks like shit in the VOD then worthless on YouTube.
Oh, fuck off. Ice Rapier, the first of many that we're probably going to pick up. There's like a billion of these that you can pick up from the enemies. Badly timed roll. Doesn't help that the big blocky dudes can pretty much tank everything. Did I say blocky? Chunky boys. Flub that and put up.
Beautiful. Making good progress. Helps that I can just one shot everything. sec. Oof! Ah, that fucking sucked. Get some defense against magic damage, because I think that's what those icicles deal. I think the icicles deal magic damage. I'm going to cheat here a little bit, because usually you can only see this ladder with the eye of the priestess, but it's still there even if you can't see it. Hope my tea is cool enough to sip. I'm gonna sip it right now. Yep, it's good. Take a nice little sippy. Oh shit, that was a big miss. If I wanted to, I could probably defeat Ivory King without the um, without the help of the Ivory Knights. But I'm gonna get the Ivory Knights anyways, just to make the fight easier, since this is to show people how to do it easily. I'm gonna show you how to get access to the Ivory Knights. Whoa, okay.
What? That wasn't an actual, an actual guard break? Shh, get the fuck out of here. That was a big old read. Read him like a book. Sip. Even though I have a lot of complaints about Dark Souls 3, I'm I'm really excited to get started on it next week. It'll be a lot of fun. Man, rolling R1 into R... Uh, yeah, rolling R1 into standing R1 is really good. Whatever, I'll just trade you. I already have, I still have 11 flasks. What? That wasn't a parry. Whatever. Pairing game's really out. Gonna have to work on that. Seven flasks for this fight, that's easy can do this, but if you think you're going to have trouble with the fight, I'll just stretch my back, don't worry about me, Ugh. if you think you're going to have trouble with the fight, just go back and rest at the first bonfire. <sighs> Bring all your flasks back up.
Oh wait, you know what? Two hand. Oh, what? That missed. Fuck. There we go. It's a beast enemy, so thrusting damage will be a lot more effective. the dodge. I'll be honest, I don't usually use the greatsword for this fight. Still pretty easy though, I only had to use three flasks. Question still remains: Do I want to fight Ludden Zalin? <sighs> questions, questions. Enough of this. Yeah, you know, sorry for skipping dialogue, but we've never really listened to it any other anybody else's dialogue up until this point, so we're not now's not the time to start. This is the last stream. Some other point we'll probably do a more story driven run, but not this time. You know what? I think I will do frigid outskirts. 
because I'm an insane person. That's a miss. I'll be honest, that's something Dark Souls 3 did do a lot better, was aiming. Uh, redirecting attacks in this game is a little, a little stiff. One of my bigger complaints. But... Yeah, okay, so the... Blue quartz ring is helping. Oh, hello. Figured they were doing ma mostly magic damage. Oh dear. Well, I'm hoping that doesn't uh, impact your viewing experience too hard. That'd be very unfortunate. Yep. Big. Oh, well, that's that, that's unfortunate. Oof. Very big sword. Um, it's what I use to 100% the game. Back. Uh, so... The great sword. Oh, you can fuck off and eat a bag of dicks. I hate these things. Worse than bone wheels. Yeah. I'm very familiar with all three games. It's how I almost won the uh, the Vadi Vidya quiz quiz night. Was I pulled ahead through Dark Souls 2 knowledge? Because nobody else is familiar with it. Well, I think it's just the stigma that it's a bad game. Nobody wants to be familiar with it because they're like, ooh, bad game. Ooh, is this going to be a one-shot? Oh, so close.
Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there's that stigma surrounding Dark Souls 2. It is slow. It's the slowest of the three, but I think... I think there's a lot of impact to each blow, which I like. It's slower, but it hits harder, which I feel like is kind of the point. That's just how I view it personally, and uh, the story the, the story of 2 definitely drew me in. The qualifier to that is that the story of the Scholar Edition drew me in, the story about Vendrick and Aldia, not necessarily the base game story. I, I say this a lot, but the base game was relatively weak on release, and it was only until the Scholar Edition came out that I think the game's story truly excelled. Yeah, so this is the great sword, and um, in the menus, like in the main menu, actually, if I can, whenever I can go back and show you after I finish the playthrough, I have a character on it with like 70 hours playtime, and that's the character I did 100% completion with. Um, and I used great sword on that character. In fact, I pretty much used this exact same setup, which is why I know that this is really easy to win the game with because it does a lot of damage. It's easy to understand. So, that's why I decided to do the strength version first. I feel like a lot of people didn't give it a proper chance. It's just very different from the other games. Different isn't bad. There is a lot of nitpicks, but I have a lot of nitpicks about 1 and 3 as well. It's just, there are things where each game ex succeeds and things where each game fails. So, uh, fun fact, this ring, Ivory Warrior Ring, uh, comes back as the Night Slayer ring worn by Night Slayer Sorig in Dark Souls 3. Attacks greatly decrease enemy stamina. The Lamb Lois existed to subdue the Raging Flame, but when the Ivory Gates were flung open, the land grew cold and lifeless. Like, just touching them does so much damage. It's so bad. I, I don't want to hate any of the games in the series. I like all the games in the series to, vary, to varying degrees. But, um... I mean, I have nitpicks with all of them. You can be critical of something and still very much appreciate it. Pop my knuckles. This area can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Oh wait, there's um I can open up a door. Not Yeah. Not too many of the dark none of the three Dark Souls games I I would say are flawless. They all have issues in their own right. Ah, 
mistimed it. Um, the PS4 stream isn't the problem. Uh, it's that's just Twitch, and also the fact that we're. I'm in the U.S. and you're in what Germany, so. There's there's just going to be a delay because it's not a delay on the PS4 stream. It's just a Twitch delay because my PS4's integrated streaming goes directly to my Twitch. Like when it shows up in my PS4 stream box, that's also when it shows up in my in my chat on my laptop because I have my actual stream open uh, on, on my laptop next to me so I can see the chat and they your chat message on ps4 and your chat message on pc pop up at the exact same time so don't worry about the my method of streaming I was probably way too pedantic when I was describing that. I was getting my words a little minced up. How's my durability doing? Good. Um, this is a bit of advice I give everybody who plays Dark Souls 2. Always, like, do, like, go on the wiki, find out where each bracing knuckle ring is. Because you want to get that, because you want to get the bracing knuckle ring as early as possible. You can skip the bracing knuckle ring plus one, but definitely get the plus two because it's really easy to get and it's just so helpful. Find out where to get those. It's important. If you're because if you're doing a melee weapon build, it's pretty much like required. Otherwise, your gear will break before you make it to the next bonfire. Uh, preserve, preserves gear durability. Yeah, I've never been a magic or, uh, faith guy. I've always done, uh, I've always been a much bigger fan of just getting very personal with it, getting very down and dirty. God, I fucking hate these things. Yeah, Dark Souls 2's durability is super low. Like, you have to get really, really, uh... Like, everything just breaks so quickly. Like, it would break- like, if I didn't have Bracing Knuckle Ring plus 2, every- like, my, my sword would have already been broken by now, probably. Like, okay, here's... Required Rings. Ring of Blades, plus one. For the most part, I would recommend that. Um, I probably shouldn't be using this because it doesn't give me a huge advantage. It gives a better advantage to weapons that swing faster because it, it just adds an extra plus 30 damage per hit. So weapons that hit faster benefit more from it. But I'm, I'm keeping it on just because I like damage. Um, and then third Dragon Ring is the Dark Souls 2 equivalent of uh, Ring of Favor. And then Bracing Knuckle is uh, your durability. And then the Quartz Rings. And then I use the different defense rings in this slot. So I'm like Steel Protection and all of the different Quartz Rings for all the different elements. And that's, that's my usual melee setup. No, that was an old glitch. That's been patched out. Uh, that's been long since patched out. Because people are using it. There's a spear in the game 
where once it's broken, it's true power is unlocked. So, like, once, uh... Once the so there's a weapon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was uh, not Sir York's spear, Santir's spear. There was a weapon called Santir's spear, uh, and once Santir's spear, it has like a rock on the end of the spearhead. But once you smash the rock, the weapon a no longer needs to be repaired anywhere. Uh, it has infinite durability, uh, and yeah, it, it it no longer needs to be repaired and has infinite durability. But the rock on the end of the spear has a ridiculous amount of durability. So what people would do is they would go somewhere and kill a bunch of dudes. Like, they go to the Forest of Fallen Giants and gather all of the hollows in one spot and kill them all in that spot. And then they would uh, whack the spear against, the, uh, against those dudes. Like, against that pile of corpses, and it would break really quickly. But they wanted to make it... They obviously don't want people doing that. So... They patched that out uh, and made it so you had to find another means of breaking it, usually through just uh, fighting things. Although there is another way, one that wasn't patched out, there's another way that you can break Santir's spear really quickly. Which is um, on Dinah and Tillo's nest, which is the crows in this game. In this game, you can break the spear against Dinah and Tillo's uh, nest pretty easily. Also, hi, uh, hi, Phantom. How's it going? I'm glad told me earlier you were pretty high on life right now, which is nice to hear. Always nice when you're in a good mood. Oh really? I'm pretty sure I did it on, um, I'm pretty sure I've done it on, uh, well, Scholar on, um, well, Scholar's only available for PS4 and Xbox One uh, as well if you're playing it on console. But, no, I, I mean, Dinah and Tillo's Nest just breaks your equipment pretty quickly either way. Yeah, they fixed the, uh, the issue where your durability was tied to game speed. But, um, I mean, you can still break your shit against Dinah and Tillo's nest pretty easily. If I remember correctly, when I play Scholar of the Sin, that's how I usually break, uh, break Santier's spear if I'm ever going to use it. Yeah, that's what I was saying, is that it's not like an instant break like it used to be. It won't just be like five hits and it'll break your gear. But yeah, Dinah and Tillo's Nest is pretty much the most effective way to smash the rock off of Santir's spear. Um... The Acid Pits in Aldia's Castle only break, don't break your weapon and shield, they only break your armor and rings. Last I remembered.
Sand Tears is really good if you're doing like um, Spellblade, because you, all you gotta do is get the necessary stats for Sand Tears and then make it raw. Oh yeah, at some point I plan to do a uh, mundane dagger playthrough of this. That'll be fun. May as well burn through all these radiant life gens since I'm out of uh since I'm out of Estus for now. Like yeah, I definitely think you should give it another try. The thing about Dark Souls 2 is that while it is slow, it makes up for that in a lot more precision. Like I said, there's a lot more impact. Every hit counts. Yeah, base base game Dark Souls 2 wasn't the best. And it makes me uh, it, it's really disappointing that so many people got turned off from Dark Souls 2 from the base game cuz Scholar Edition is fantastic. Garrison Ward Key. Oh boy, I'm gonna regret. I'm gonna regret doing this. I am absolutely gonna regret doing frigid outskirts.
too slow on the draw that time. Reason number one I use great swords. That. Alright. Gonna go back to Majula and just cash out real quick. I don't wanna have so many souls on me, cause I'm probably gonna die at least once to this shit. Ugh. This area is basically just designed to make you suffer. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Man, I have literally have nothing else to invest my stats in. Every night I still feel it. My arms and my legs. The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost. Are still hurting. You feel it too, don't you? Expulsion chamber. Let's uh let's do this. Let's suffer together. glasses off real quick. Yeah. Fun area. Alright. Visit the cemetery first. Mmm. Nah, I'm not gonna pick anybody up. That'd be a cop out. The true question is, will I be able to beat Ludden Zoll in solo?
Thank God for my natural sense of direction. Jesus. Okay. All right, safe. Whew. I'm a fast boy. Okay, I'm gonna do some warm up stretches for this one. I'm doing this all by my lonesome, so got to be careful. Just got to be calm, collected, slow. Let's get some buffs going. Waste my time. Yes. Wow, holy shit, I fucking annihilated Lud. Are you gonna go Rage of the Gods mode? Alright, yep, there we go.
He's gonna move a little bit faster and he's gonna regenerate health, so I've gotta just focus on dodging for now. They do a lot more, because the survivor does a lot more damage in Rage of the Gods mode. Yeah, I can't believe I fucking destroyed... That's the fastest I've ever killed Lud. This is probably the fastest I've ever done this fight. And I've done it all in one try. Rage of the Gods mode for them is like have it taking a bright bug for the player. They take less damage and deal more. Oof, camera, camera got real janky on, on me there. God damn. Fucking fastest, fastest sword in the West, boys. I can't believe I did that all in one go. Cause that, like, that whole area, and those, and that boss... Or, yeah, that whole area and that boss is just, like, universally considered one of the hardest things to do in Dark Souls, period. So, I'm, I'm feeling pretty satisfied. And that's the stream, Good night, everyone! <laughs> expect there to be so many people in here. God damn it, again? No fair! That was fucking dumb, dude. As soon as I finished that guy off, the other one came in and hit me in the stun lock animation. Actually, Sentry Golem Pog Champ. That's a big old Golem Poggers. That's a bright bug, but I'm not going to need any others. Nah, you're cool.
You just don't you just don't get what the kids are saying these days. And that's totally fine, because kids are fucking weird. That's the joke! Probably. Not that we we a lad. I'm a fifth through my life. Resistance, what's that? I totally forget what that is. Oh, it just raises your overall resistances. Not in my house. That's a very annoying invader, so I feel like I'm on a roll right now. Killed one of the hardest bosses, or just beat one of the hardest areas in all the Dark Souls. Beaten an annoying invader, haven't even died yet. Feeling good. Got to knock on that wood, though. Cause I know I just said, I know I just, I just jinxed it. I know I just said something irredeemably stupid, and I'm going to fuck up horribly now. I should have rolled that d20. 
Said something irredeemably stupid? You mean said something uh, ununderstandably woke? The D20 only rewards the woke. I just realized how terrible that inside joke looks to anybody who, who doesn't... Anybody who's not us. Because literally only you and me and two other people understand that joke. Eh, well... Nah, not really. I mean, I gotta keep quality up for the VOD and just for the stream for anybody who doesn't get it. Oh, this isn't part of the armor set. The helmet? The helmet's not part of the armor set. The helmet is a standalone item that is, um, it's an alternative part of another armor set. This is the Hade Iron Mask. It's not the Hade Knight Helm. The Hade Knight Helm is a, the big boxy helmet. This is the Hade Iron Mask, which is also part of the Hade... It's an alternative part of the Hade set. Just like how the Black Witch set has, I think, like, two other headgears besides the Black Witch hat. There's also the Black Witch Mask and the Black Witch Veil. This is similar. This is, like, an alternate headgear to the Hade Knight set. Everything else is Faram, though. I'm gonna skip this because I don't need what's in that chest. Nor are there any valuable objects in this hallway. for Saint Sadness. Yeah, I'll give that an upvote. Ally in short victory. Yep. Very sad lore in th for this area. Just this whole DLC is really sad. Ivory King is a tragic hero. Oh, shit. That's not very cash money of you, my dudes. There were actually two of them. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Also, I just ate that spear, and it did nothing to break my poise. God, I love heavy armor. Ugh. 
fake messages. I love it when they just yote those spears at me. I forget what's up here. Oh, well, this is convenient. Fire clutch. Kind of crazy that the fire clutch you only can really get. Fire clutch in Dark Souls 3 you get right in the Undead Settlement. In this game you don't get the fire clutch until the very end of the last DLC. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I know. I don't like the curved mill that much, I'll be honest. It's a good strength curved great sword. It's the only strength curved great sword, I think, but. Um, it's good to carry you through extra NG cycles, since it gets stronger with every NG cycle, but I'm not crazy about it. Not as crazy as I am about this Y-hander, which I love in literally every game. Oh yeah, I know. I know the clutch rings were... Were there one per DLC? No, because well, there's four elemental damages. So there had to be at least two in one of the DLCs, because there's a dark clutch, thunder clutch, fire clutch, and a uh, spell clutch. So there, one of them had to have been... One of the DLCs had to have had two. Okay, this is epic. Fucking... I need to wash my mouth out after saying that. Oh, both dark and fire are in this one. The same kinds of enemies always come out of the same portals, so... I always gotta remember to go after this one. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that.
this, boys. I have four of these, which is more than the remaining bosses I have left in this playthrough, so I may as well use one for each fight. Some of the best music in the game right here. Alright, have a good night. Sorry you couldn't watch through the entire stream. Yeah, I had fun too. No, my Lois boy. I will avenge him. Yeah, take care though. Hopefully you'll come back another night. We'll be playing something else, but I'm sure it'll be a great time. Oh boy. This fight still gives me trouble sometimes. It's that timing. Reminding me of a ring I can't have. I miss the dark wood. my backflips. This is just one of the best fucking arenas in any Souls game ever. This would have been a way better final boss arena than the kiln in Dark Souls, or the kiln in this game. The kiln's just so fucking bland in this game, honestly. Got him! Oh! Oh! Epic burn! Oof! This is so sad. This is so sad. Alexa, play Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. So, fun fact, um, that uh, you can go up and talk to Alsana if you co-op with other players to fight the Ivory King and collect souls from the Burnt Ivory Knights. You need like 200 of them though to actually talk to her, it's insane.
Wow, we're actually getting done earlier than I expected. I thought this was going to take us like three hours. We're getting it done in half that time. Jesus. Absolutely insane. Once again, proof that I'm just too fucking good at this game. awe at the size of this room. The rest will follow. follow. <sighs> there are so many moments in this game that I get chills. And like, Vendrick and Aldia are just two, like, the end of Vendrick's questline and the end of Aldia's questline are two moments where I just never stop getting chills. My journey is already complete. My name is Shanalot. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. I was born of dragons, contrived by men, by ones who would cause and fate herself. They are the ones who created me, but they failed. I did not come out as intended. Fate would not be bested, and men were cursed once again. If you proceed, Nashandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire, she covets the first flame and the great soul. Put Nashandra to rest.
Why isn't it undoing my hollowing? I had no idea he was just going to pop up there. Fucking lingering hitbox.
remain here patiently. The throne will certainly receive you. But the question remains. What do you want? Tell me. Light, dark. Or something else entirely. Yeah, no kidding. I fucking this is the best ending of any Dark Souls game, honestly. I'm gonna be quiet now just because I wanna let this play out again. Yeah. God, so good. So good. Let the music play out. Out of respect, I always... Out of respect, I always let the final cutscene play out. This was a fun stream. I really enjoyed this. Um, so yeah, next it is Dark Souls 3. And that'll be on Tuesday... I will have streams for Tuesday and Thursday, but um, no Sunday stream next week. Just Tuesday, Thursday streams for this next upcoming week. This is over. I'll probably go get some dinner. And then come back and probably watch somebody else live stream or something. I don't know. I'm winging it. So next week is going to be Dark Souls 3, both on Tuesday and Thursday. I think I'm going to I'm, I'm going to write that in the scream schedule. Scream, scream schedule. Ah! Yes, I will write that down in the stream schedule, uh, and then no Sunday stream. following week I will probably I should probably have the week after next week I will most likely have Hokuto Gagotok 
So that will be the next big game that I'll play alongside Dark Souls 3. I need more variety, because usually when I start a stream set, I just run the whole, like, I just run one game, and I need to add more variety. So I'll be doing Hokdoga Gotok, and I will also be doing Dark Souls 2. Or Dark Souls 3. Blech. Brain, brain shut down. Brain off. Really excited for Hokuto Ga Gotok. This is a game I've been looking forward to since it was announced last year. So, I'm delighted to be able to play it finally. Always down for Yakuza, but with uh, Fist of the North Star beer goggles. That's a winning combination right there. that Hokuto Ga Gotok will draw in more viewers just because I want to get like a more active community I want to be able to talk to my viewers I want to I want to build something out of this but I want also you know I've got to balance life stuff out which is why I'm trying to keep a very consistent Tuesday Thursday Sunday screen wow holy shit I almost said scream again I really want to scream schedule it's a good time Kind of crazy to think about. I'm thinking about Dark Souls 3. It's already two years old. I remember when I was waiting for it to come out. I was playing through Dark Souls 2 with my brother, and we were so excited for Dark Souls 3. We were like paying attention to the whole development cycle of it, and then neither of us got it on launch. I'm glad I waited though, because I got it in like. Uh, November of 2016 or so and by then the first DLC was already out and I had a good time with it I had a similar experience with Bloodborne uh, I got my PlayStation last year yeah I got my PlayStation in 2017 so I uh took some time before I actually ever played Bloodborne because that came out in 2015. Man, 2015. If Bloodborne, on the other hand, feels newer because like it almost feels like it came out in 2013, 2014, but it's actually a lot newer than that. It's all about perspectives, I guess. Original soundtrack, there he is, Motoi Sakuraba. Oh shit, there was a there was a shield design contest. I had no idea. 
They credited people who designed certain shield uh, shields. That's really cool. That's about it. Before I go, though, let's just uh, do this because it's part of the ceremony. Once you beat Nashandra, you get infinite chunks. You can buy infinite chunks. And that's it everything there is to see. Thanks everyone for watching. And um, next next time on Tuesday we will be getting Dark Souls 3. Take care now.